Hey everyone, Brian here with the Honest Mechanic channel. Today I'm going to show you three different methods for resetting the transmission control module or TCM on Dodge vehicles, depending on your model. The TCM is basically the brain that controls the automatic transmission. It's a computer chip that stores data like shift patterns and helps optimize gear changes. Over time, transmission problems can develop if this computer chip gets too full of data or develops glitches. Resetting it can often fix minor transmission issues and help restore smooth shifting. So how do you know if your Dodge's TCM needs to be reset? Here are some of the most common symptoms. 1. Harsh gear changes. If you feel abrupt and jerky shifts when accelerating or slowing down, that indicates issues with the computer not timing shifts properly. 2. Delayed engagement. When you put the car into drive or reverse, you should feel it engage immediately. But with a glitchy TCM, you might notice delayed engagement. 3. Check engine light. Various transmission-related error codes can trigger the check engine light. Resetting the TCM may clear these soft codes. 4. Poor fuel economy. Transmission problems put extra load on the engine, so you may see reduced MPG as an early symptom. If you're experiencing any of those issues, resetting the TCM may help resolve the problems. All right, now let's get into those three resetting methods. Method one, use the accelerator pedal. The accelerator pedal procedure involves fully pressing and releasing the accelerator pedal in order to trigger a reset. Here are the steps. Start the engine and let it idle for 20 to 30 seconds. Don't rev it up, just let it idle normally. With your foot off the pedals completely, Turn the ignition key to the off position. Wait a minute or two, and then restart the engine. Let it idle for 20 to 30 seconds again. Then with your foot still off the pedals, press the accelerator pedal all the way to the floor mat. Hold it down for about 10 to 15 seconds until the tachometer sweeps once. Release the pedal and let it return to the normal idle position. Turn the ignition off and wait a minute or two. Restart the engine and test drive the vehicle. The TCM reset is now complete. The accelerator method essentially triggers a reboot of the TCM by signaling it with voltage spikes. It's easy to perform and works for many Dodge models. Method two, battery disconnection. The battery disconnection approach is also quite simple, but more invasive since you have to access the battery itself. Here's the process. Turn the ignition key to the off position and make sure the lights and accessories are also turned off. Disconnect both the positive and negative battery cables. You'll need a wrench set for this step. With the battery disconnected, take the loose positive and negative cables and touch their metal terminal ends together. This equalizes any remaining voltage still inside the system. Hold them together and let any charge dissipate for about five minutes. Reconnect the positive cable first, properly tightening it on the battery post with your wrench. Reconnect the negative cable second. Again, make sure the connection is snug. Wait an hour with the battery reconnected before starting the engine. This gives the TCM time to completely reset and also charges the battery back up. Start the engine and complete a few normal test drives. The TCM will relearn and adapt driving patterns during this phase. By draining voltage from all systems, you essentially force the computer to restart with a blank slate. It's a more thorough reset than the pedal dance method. Method three, scanner reset. The final approach relies on an OBD2 scanner diagnostic tool. You can purchase a relatively affordable one either online or at your local auto parts store. Professional mechanic grade scanners also work if you want better capabilities. Here's the reset process using a scanner. Connect the diagnostic scanner to your vehicle's OBD2 port usually located under the dash. Turn the ignition to the on position to power up the port. Navigate to the transmission section and look for a clear keep alive memory option or something similarly worded like clear adaptive values. This will differ between scanner models, so check your tools instructions. Also reset any trouble codes that may be stored such as harsh shift-related codes that could be bogging down the TCM. Clear these after resetting the Keep Alive memory, disconnect the scanner tool, and cycle the ignition from on to off. Wait a minute or two before starting the engine. Complete some test drives so the transmission can relearn shift patterns. 
The TCM reset is now fully done. The key advantage of the scanner reset is having the ability to clear trouble codes and monitor data during the test drives. This gives you confirmation that the reset actually worked. All right, guys, so in this video, we covered the Dodge TCM, what it does, symptoms when it needs resetting, and the three main resetting methods. Try out the pedal dance first since it's simplest. The battery disconnect and scanner method are also options if you need something more robust. Post below if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.